a ram. So St. Louis, any St. Louis? Louis fans? Oh, look at all the St. Louis. You're so lying. You're so lying. I know. You're, You're all Jet them. fans or Giant fans, right. I'm sure. Yeah. I know. Well, I thought... We have a very Midwest audience today, so it's. Uh, but again, the ram. You might think of a ram as like. Obviously, you think of rams, and what do rams do best? They ram. Yeah, they, they ram. ram. They right, ram. Right, exactly. Right. This little guy comes all the way from England. This is a Jacob's ram, and he's coming out. And wait till you so see how beautiful cute. this guy is. Hi, Look buddy. at him. Hello. Oh, my God. Hello. And Rachel, you are absolutely right that this little guy, he's not quite a year old. So as they get older, almost like the rings on a tree, they get more rings on their horns. On so their they, horns. They, oh, look at he's, he's God bless you. God bless you. He's allergic to wool. <laughs> oh, he's allergic to wool. <laughs> but that was a good one, bro. Like I'll give that to you. Yeah. I'll give it to you. But here, he's but beautiful. Touch, how beautiful. I mean, feel that. I mean, he's just What's a real... his name? This guy's name is Jacob, because he's a Jacob sheep. Isn't he beautiful? Well, that was very creative. Yeah, I know. It's like, <laughs> well, yeah. But again, <laughs> but again. He's so beautiful. Isn't he awesome? I love him. And again, as he gets older, those, he'll just, his horns They just bit. keep circling, wow. Keep cir and you know what's amazing? If they ram and they, they break their horn, will it grow back? You know, horns are interesting. Uh, antlers, there's a difference. Like a deer right. has antlers right. and they fall off seasonally. Horns are actually attached to their skull. So if they do break them, they, it might grow back almost like your fingernail in a way, right, but it right, takes right. them much longer. But actually, if you look at like a skeleton of a, of a ram or a sheep, the, it goes right in, it's part right of their, their skull, right in right. their skull. And what's awesome about these guys too, in addition to the horns, what makes a ram able to ram is not so much their horns, but their skull. They have a huge muscle right here that's attached to their skull, and they can take an impact of hundreds of pounds of pressure. Yeah, it's and a giant, giant muscle giant, on the back of his head. Giant yeah. cervical vertebrae, Hi, too, baby. that allow it to do it. But I love Hi. this guy. I mean, he's cool. And his little toes, believe it or not, what's neat about rams, too, is they're very sure-footed, obviously very territorial. They're great climbers, too, Excellent right? climbers. Yeah. yeah, if you go out to, like, Yellowstone, the mountains, see the mountains. You see them in the trees. I mean, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was that neat in Africa, yeah. seeing the, the goats even in the trees? In the sheep. Up in the trees, it's yeah. crazy. It's yeah. amazing for the, the cervids can really, they're very adaptable to all types of things. Plus, these guys really helped human civilization because these are one of the first oh, animals. Oh, he just gave him a little kiss, like yeah. a little nose kiss. Yes. So sweet. You're sweet, Jacob. Yeah. Yes, you are. You're yeah, Grant likes the sheep, so. Okay, we have time for just one more. We have to, we have to get okay, just one more. Okay, we got one more. All yes, right. I'm excited okay. for. I, you know, I am a Jets fan, but I do like the Denver Broncos, yeah. and I am fan, so, I I'm a huge Peyton fan, right. and I'm so excited to see a Broncos. Well, well, we have our own little Peyton here today. His name's Peyton, and let me give you His a little His name is Peyton! And let me give you a little foreshadowing on him. So, we brought all these crazy, dangerous animals. We had a leopard, and eagle, and all this right. stuff. This by far was the most dangerous the out of all of them because what makes, a bron bronco, what makes a bronco bucking, a bronco? They buck. They buck and they're not tame, right. they're not friendly. So I spent months, Rachel, getting this guy's studio ready to bring him in here. There he is, right? Oh. <laughs> so a little Peyton here. And look at this. There's your baba. There's his baba. There's your baba. So I don't know if Denver fans are going to be like, yeah, this mascot is, is, is uh, tough He's as we so thought it was. so beautiful. Isn't that unbelievable? Do Broncos run run wild in yeah, Denver we, still? Be, believe it or not, we still in that part of, of the U.S. I mean, believe it or not, there are still wild horses. There's Beautiful. even wild horses in in Maryland. I mean, wow. it's unbelievable that they've existed <laughs> for so long. In uh, but part of the old world countries like Mongolia, you'll still find the Przewalski horse and some of the true wild horses. Oh, but all, Peyton is beautiful. But again, talk about another beast of burden. This is an animal that this is the first transportation in the United States. So isn't that unbelievable? Like, re really, because of Buck and Broncos and our ability to uh, to un oh. unbuck them, we've been able to. He's just a baby. Yeah, yeah, let him. Oh, there we go. Such a cute baby. So it's like that's how you, that's the easiest way to train a bucking Bronco is <laughs> let him teeth a little bit. So Hi, it works out. Sweetheart. Works out really well. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, isn't he awesome? Aww. Oh my God, I want one. Is he so cool? Is he? Is it boo? Mommy's bringing home a friend for you. <laughs>